Hey guys, uh, we are here uh, doing it fucking long. Okay, holy crap. <laughs> so, first of all, uh, rating for this book, zero out of five stars. Don't fucking read this verbal, this like fucking garbage ass. This is, this is word vomit and it sucks, okay? If you're gonna do it though, don't do it in one day like I did because my head hurt. <laughs> like I feel like death. Like I'm. Our, our DMs have been absolutely amazing <laughs> with you reading this book. <laughs> I should have excuse some of the messages you were sending me yesterday, and she's just like that poor thing. <laughs> She felt so bad for you. She read the book, the series, like a few years back, and she's like, it's one of those series that as soon as I read, I just forgot existed to protect my head. <laughs> no, it is, it's so bad. Like, I have notes, okay, because, you know, I need notes. But first of all, so the first book is called Half Blood. And for whatever fucking reason, this fuck nut of an author was like, you know what, why don't we take what should be the first couple of chapters of Half-Blood and turn it into a novella? That's not a novella. That's just DLC. DLC that you need to play the fucking video <laughs> game, okay? That should have been part of the first book. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry. But there's, like, important information in the novella. Like, you couldn't, you don't read the novella, like, okay, so, obviously spoilers, and why the fuck do you care, don't read this thing, okay? But, like, her mom turns into a demon. By the way, that whole Damon thing is, means demon, because fuck it, why yeah, um, that shit weird? Give me a second as well, because I will say, one thing I do like about this series, I don't think it's in the... Um, novella, but ah, where is it? Because yes, I have the hard copies. Don't ask me why, please. It's got a little pronunciation guide at the front. I Which don't know if I my camera. Yeah, it is nice. Um, so and it's actually kind of annoying because. The really pronounce some of the words the way they're supposed to be, <laughs> according to the guide. Oh, really? <laughs> like <posturing stuff>. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do like that there was a pronunciation guide. It made it a bit easier in my head because I read it the first time. Okay. Um, which was good. <laughs> if you're gonna torture yourselves with these fucking things, and you can help it, don't. Use the audio book. Oh my god, the narrator is fucking garbage. Like, okay, so Aiden is like the main dude character that she wants to bone, and his and her name's Alex. By that's the main character's name, the main fucking dumbass's name, and her voice yeah. for Aiden, which is like who Alex wants to pork, is like Alex. What are you doing? You need to like listen to me and do what I say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's it, it's one of probably one of the most painful narrations i've had to deal with it really <laughs> is like i can deal with some because like sometimes you hear a narrator's voice and you're like ugh, but it like yeah. you kind of slide into it because they do different voices for the characters and like, so, for example, with the Mercy Thompson novels, um, you don't have to tell me that Stefan or Adam or Sam or whoever is speaking is speaking. I can tell. Because she yeah. does a good job. This bitch can go f f fuck a duck because I just... <clears throat> no. So, first of all, first of all, the novella Demon and Half-Blood should have been one goddamn book. She's a fucking moron for not doing it that way. Okay. So let's just start. Uh, I guess we'll do characters like we did with. There's like no good way to do this. Um, and fair warning. Oh, wait. Um, 
just to just to address something in chat, we won't go through the whole plot, but just the basic premise of the books. It's there's it's based around the Greek gods and um, the the demi the offspring of the demigods um, are called hematoi, and yeah. then if a hematoi bangs a human and has a bubba, then they're a half blood. And that's if the they basic. They bang each other, yeah. then they're pure bloods, and pure bloods can't bump uglies with half bloods because what's the reason? Like, I don't give a shit about spoilers. it's illegal. It's illegal, and is it just illegal because illegal, or does it result in an pilly whatever? Is that why? <laughs> Um, oh, am I clicky? Why is I'll it illegal? Why they make it illegal? Is that why? There's reasons. What are the re Just fucking tell me what the reasons are. I'm gonna be okay, just. So a, I will Google it. If a you don't female. Tell me. Sh hush then. Okay. Shh. I'm sorry. Um, a, a um female pure banging a half blood dude um makes an apollyon but there's only supposed to be one apollyon per generation so and often um there's more than one and those bubbers get you know killed and stuff so yeah it's sad <laughs> but that's why and apollyons are like fucking super dudes or whatever Because for whatever like reason, when hubs. you're only like three quarters of something, you're more powerful than pure somethings because fucking reasons. <laughs> that doesn't make it, like, okay, can we agree though that that doesn't make any fucking sense? It doesn't. Um, I think, because it gets explained later on somewhere where, um, the opponent by Apollo... And the Apollyon's only ever supposed to be Boy, of his bloodline. I wonder why. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Um, and it's more, it was more or less to make sure that the pure bloods didn't get too power crazy and think that they could take on the gods. So I guess he did a witchy woo and made it so. Yeah, I like it when people female... do witchy woos and make things don't make any goddamn sense. Okay, so. Yes. <laughs> Alex is the main character, and she's a fucking idiot. Uh, there's not much else to say about her. She's just a fuck nut. Um, Aiden is the guy that she wants to bang, and he's a fuck nut yes. for wanting to bang her because he's not an idiot. Like, he's a smart no, dude. And, about, and, and you're like... And he's and attractive. And, yeah, like, and she will pretty. never let you forget that. Attractive. Yeah, by the way, do you remember that he's attractive? Also, he talks like this, which totally takes away from his attractiveness. You can't be a hot guy and be like, Alex, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what do I say? I'm not going to exactly what he fucking sounds like. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay. Okay, so did, did we want to do... Demon first. Yeah, because it's, so Demon's the prequel novella. Like I said, this is basically like chapters one, two, two and three or whatever. Or they should have been. Um, so it starts off oh with like her hump, half, what, what, what? The blurb is so dramatic. The what? <laughs> the blurb. The blurb? It's like on the back of the book, the blurb. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm what like, do you guys call them? Like a synopsis or something. I have no fucking clue. What is... Oh, okay. Is okay, so it's just like, for three years, Alexandria has lived amongst the mortals, pretending to be like them and trying to forget the duty she'd been trained to fulfill as a child of a mortal and a demigod. At 17, she's pretty much accepted that she's a freak by mortal standards and that she'll never be prepared for that duty. According to her mother, that's a good thing. But as every descendant of the gods knows, fate has a way of rearing her ugly head. A, hor eh, a horrifying attack forces Alex to flee Miami and try and find her way back to the 
very place her mother had wanted her. Ah, back to the very place her mother had warned her she should never return. The covenant. Every step that brings her closer to safety is one more step towards death, because she's being hunted to kill the. Ah, she's being hunted by the very creatures she had once been trained to kill. The demons have found her. Dot dot dot. <sighs> Okay. Just that, like, so, so that's, it. so that's, that's actually pretty much the plot of the book, the, that whole plot of it. Okay, I've got a couple of people that are just gonna get, they're just gonna block you all because go fuck yourself. I'm trying to bitch about a book. Can you like get all your Nazisms away from me? Thanks. Go fuck yourself. Anywho, so <laughs> starts off. She's on. She's on. I'm just like not yell. Don't yell. <laughs> One o'clock in the morning. Okay. Starts Don't off. She's on a beach with this guy named Matt. And Matt is like, because all the guys have the same voice. So he's like, Alex, don't you want to like fuck? And he doesn't say that, but that's basically what he's saying. And she's like, I don't know. And then he's like, Alex, we like never, I don't know you, man. Like, where were you born? And she's like, I was born, like, off the coast of North Carolina. And these guy named Ren and Stimpy <laughs> come up. It's fucking stupid because they're just, like, these 19-year-old guys who are, for whatever reason, uh, really interested in what two 17-year-olds are doing on a beach because that makes so much sense. <laughs> it doesn't make any fucking sense. But, of course, they're basically 12-year-old bullies. So... They walk up to them and they're like, we're like bullies and shit. And Matt's like, oh, guys, <laughs> gee. And she's like, okay, go fuck yourself. And Matt's like, hey, man, stop it. Like, you don't, we don't have to just let it go, dude. And she's like, no. And so she like flattens them. No, before she flattens them, okay, I kid you not. <laughs> The line of dialogue, okay, is fucking. (laughs) Before she made it, before she beats these fuckers up, the line of dialogue is it's on like Donkey Kong, and she's not even kidding. Like this is actually the line, so you can you can see what kind of writing you're in for. Oh, who are you guys talking about? We're yeah, it says book club with Bay, and it says the title of the books that we're talking about. Um, and then, and so then after after she does this, okay, Matt looks at her and goes, "You didn't have to lay the smack down on them like that." Is that <laughs> fucking quote? You didn't have to you lay know the what's smack even on them. Is an actual quote. <laughs> What's even worse is um, they get in, into a fight because he's, he's a pacifist and she was like, grr, no. And then he's like, and they get into a fight and he's like, that's just not cool, I'm done. And she's like, well, go, just go save a dolphin. He's like, it's whales, I want to save the whales. And she's like, what's wrong with saving dolphins? And then she's like, and then she's like, after two minutes, I really regretted saying that. I'm like, why? <laughs> like it's a shitty insult. Why do you feel guilty over saying something really stupid? <laughs> but I just that that's a conversation in the book that they argue over whales versus dolphins. <laughs> and we're only in the first scene. I mean no, like this is what <laughs> No, okay. Like you know the first scenes of books matter. And yes, like this is the first. This is this is how we are introduced to our fucking characters. So <laughs> woohoo! All right. So then she says the walk home sucked, but I mean this writing is just it's it's trash. It is word vomit. It's like a twelve year old wrote a book. Okay, and twelve year olds apparently shouldn't write book. Okay. Yes. No, they shouldn't. So you're talking about a female-dominated relationship-based book. 
No. You know what's bad as well? The, the Oath is not ugly. That explains it, because the authors expect... of the best books are, like, fucking disgusting. Have you looked up what... But also, is? often, the author... Oh, yeah. But uh, sometimes as well, I've found that ugly authors write really, really bad books as well, because they're the ones that are fulfilling their... On... Yeah, that's true. I mean, maybe it's just that authors tend to be ugly. But either way, but, yeah, but, this is trash. But that's her there. And she's not that ugly. No, she's not. Um, she's a big... So the walk home it. sucked butt, and then she says something, and then she's like, blah, 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 my rosy left butt cheek. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. Um, so the thing that I wrote down that wasn't awful was the scene with her mom I liked. I thought that it was, like, mm -hmm. genuine, and I thought it was good. So then, the, so then the next morning, the demons attack. Um, no, go away, Magoon. So, you know, so the demons attack. And so... From, okay. I'm not mad. I just think this author is a fucking lunatic. So... This bitch has a garden spade coated in titanium. Yes. Think about that for a second. Okay, a garden tool made plated with a pro <laughs> <laughs> Her mother clearly has too much money. Right, but they're fucking poor as shit, okay? Like, can we just I'm gonna actually look up and see if you can get garden spade. But I'm just I'm mad about that. Like that is so stupid. That just ugh. apparently did they are actually a thing. What a titanium plated garden spade? Yeah. How much are they? Like, I'm looking. Sorry, that sounded really dismissive. I didn't mean to be. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, why are there no prices on this website? Fuck you. Okay, let's try Alibaba. I'm just upset about that. That like, there's a random garden tool coated in type like that sounds fucking fake as shit and it sounds like you're a loaded ass motherfucker i know right so apparently so in order to kill a demon okay i found a tiny little spade um on ebay that's used for 30 dollars is it titanium though it it it, it says it but it's ebay but it's not from China, so it could be. <laughs> um, but it's 7.5 inches. And it's only lightly coated in it. So, I don't know. I don't know. Like, when I heard that, I was just like, so, that sounds like bullshit. Like, why would you yeah. waste that much titanium on fucking garden tools? And why would that be less than, like, a million dollars? Either way. So, yeah. a demon, which is, like, a... So, okay, so, like, descendants of the gods have ether in them. It's like the ether bunny, but it's not. Um, and that's, like, what <laughs> makes them godly, whatever. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so demons are like pure bloods turned uh, who want to like eat your ether, whatever. Yeah. So to kill a demon, you don't. You don't even have to stab it in the heart or decapitate it or anything. You, you just need to lightly could... scratch it. You could prick its finger with a tiny titanium needle, and these fuckers would explode. <laughs> like that's what we're dealing with here. Okay. So there's two of them. Like, and she even pointed out multiple times, you don't have to 
hit them fatally like you would a human. You just have to break their skin with titanium. Yeah. Like, like you... Sorry, carry on. Yeah. She makes it a point that you don't have to, like, be... I don't know. Like, you don't have to be accurate. You can just poke them in anywhere with... Fucking... And this is why, before I even got to the first book, I wanted this bitch dead. She's a fucking idiot. So, the actual demon... So, the demon, like, eats her mom. Because, like, why not? Um, And... That demon is like, and then is like, I'm gonna eat you. So she's like, ah, and then like just kind of holding the thing, and then it's like, ah, and then he's dead. And he like <laughs> explodes into blue dust. So it's kind of like the ending of Harry Potter, but sparkly. So gay Voldemort. So gay Voldemort <laughs> explodes. And- Fuck. <laughs> And then she looks out the fucking window and she sees another demon <laughs> that's all like, Arr! and so you're like, okay. Um, and so then she's like, the demon like starts coming into the house. So she like barricades the door and she's like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to lose you. And so, uh, so the demon like punches through the door and is like, arr, 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 arr. and she's like, I'm just going to get the money and run. Even okay. even though she could walk up to the door, poke his finger, and he'd go poof. She doesn't do it. She doesn't fucking do it. Now I want you that. Like, when this demon gets you, you fucking deserve it. Like, this is what should happen to you. You should die because you're an idiot. You're a fucking idiot. His hand is through through the fucking door. He doesn't even. Sorry, I got fun. Okay. He doesn't want to leave. Okay, his hand is just—it's right there. All you have to do is go up to it and just be like, Rawr, and he'd be like. But she's a fucking idiot. (laughs) You know what? I'm I'm actually like I've like a lot of similar criticisms, but you're just amusing the fuck out of me right now. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) No, it's great. It's so stupid. Okay. Oh god, they should make a big budget blockbuster out of this shit you're describing. And okay, and then while she's running away, she's like, I ran. I'm so bad for running. I'm like, okay, sweetie, look at me. Look at me, fucking idiot. So you could have poked him, he could have gone and then you could have and you could have still run. And like you wouldn't be upset about running because you would have made him and that's it. <laughs> There's no, there's no fucking reason for this, okay? Like, let me just stress to you how fucking easy it is to kill one of these things. It is, it is so stupid. Okay. So. <laughs> ah, okay. All right. Okay. So, she, like, gets... To a motel, sleeps for a while because, like, her mom's dead. So she has to do the whole, oh, my God, my mom's dead thing. So then she ends up in Atlanta. And that's where, like, the first, the novella ends and the first book starts. And so there are a group of demons chasing her. So it's not just the two. Although she could have picked off two pretty fucking easily. But no, she's a fucktard. So she's, like... Gets to this warehouse, okay? And mind you, keep in mind how fucking easy it is to kill one of these things, especially if you have a tight... Like, all you have to do is poke them. All you have to do. So, there's, like, a bunch of them. And all she would have had to do is poke them. And she fucking doesn't, because she's a moron. And then you go through all this tension, because I'm like, I hope she... I'm like, I hope you die, because you're an idiot, and I want you dead, so this can stop. 
But of course she doesn't die because you know she was the main character. So she manages to kill one more. And like she could have killed the last one, but for whatever the fuck reason she didn't. And so then the sentinels, which are like the guardy people who are supposed to kill all the demons, are like show up and finish them off. And yes, the Covenant series. Like my head hurts. Okay. So the fucking sentinels show up, finish them off, and that's the first time you hear Aiden be like, Alex, are you okay? And you're just like, (laughs) fucking kill me. And then, so she gets back to like the magical school, because of course she does. And they're like, and Aiden's like, Alex, you killed two demons. Like, do you know how amazing that is? (laughs) sorry They should have killed her when they had the chance. <laughs> That's so amazing. What are you talking about? Yeah. There's you know, like you know what's impressive? There's you know no what's reason. much more impressive. Why? Okay, like I'm sorry, I, I'm still stuck on Arr! and she didn't just be like Psh, done. Like <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I want her dead. I'm, I'm just so mad about this. I'm sorry. Just, I'm like the way that they describe how killing a demon works. Twenty times more impressed with my three-legged cat killing a pigeon than I am with Alex killing a demon. Right, because like I said, you don't have to stab it anywhere in particular, and you don't have to go very deep. You could scrape it with titanium and it would just be like, ah! <laughs> and they're like, yeah. it's so amazing that you killed a demon, Alex. Fuck And you only got one life. tag, then she gets sad. I'm glad they at least tagged her. Bitch, bitch deserved it. No, when they did that, I was like, are they going to kill her? Is she going to die? Thank fuck. <laughs> So, <laughs> so here are some of my notes, okay? <laughs> this, I'm just going to read, like, verbatim what I wrote down while I was listening to this bullshit. The prequel should have just been part of the first novel. Like, what the fuck? Okay, she says in the first fucking part of this first novel that stabbing them anywhere will kill them. She could have killed the thingy. Also, she's mad she'll die a virgin, but dying a dumb cut is totally fine. Oh, yeah, that's right. She's fucking <laughs> obsessed with being a virgin. I totally... <laughs> well, there's a lot more other stupid to keep in mind when reading this. Yeah, like the dumb is just too much. Okay, so yeah, so I said she's mad that like right. So she she's in the warehouse and she thinks she's about to die, and her first thought is not oh my god I'm gonna die. It's like oh my god I'm a virgin, <laughs> girl. <laughs> like, <laughs> You just, okay, I hope a demon rapes you and then kills you. Like, that's how much I dislike your fucking character. And then I think you won't we just got... Me, and I can be happy. Okay? I think we just got your your next um, book club TV, like, t- t-shirt slogan. <laughs> I hope a demon rapes you and kills you. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just so... That's your... And that's continually <laughs> happens where, like, something important is going down and she's like, my snooch is wet. And you're like... <laughs> <laughs> you're like, there are more pressing matters, sweetheart. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. And I said, like, quit fucking running. <laughs> Just poke them. Why are you running? This is so stupid. Oh, yeah. And so one of my notes is, okay, she wanted to find them, 
she wanted them to find her, and they find her, and she's like, ah, go away, why? Okay, mom just died, and I'm all, grr, go away, now I'm soaking wet, what, is oh, yeah, right, so Aiden ends up on top of her, and, like, her mom just died, and she's, like, trying to beat the fuck out of him, because she's a fucking idiot, and, yeah, and then she's like, I want him to bone me, and I'm like, <laughs> And don't forget, he's, it's because of his, he's got, it's thundercloud eyes that changed to Quicksilver. Or whatever the fuck, right? And oh my. Yeah, because you will also never forget that Aiden has grey coloured eyes. Yes. This ever. Is a, yes, She'll weapon never let you This is a sound bite gold mine. You're right. I fucking hate this book. <laughs> <laughs> um... And then at one point, one of my notes is, oh, yeah, mom's dead. Shit, and shit stuck. Sit in, and shit sucks. And, hey, you might be sold into slavery, but at least pretty boy thinks you're hot priorities, eh? Like, that was... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my um, God. I, oh, one of my things was, oh, my God, this bitch is worried about how she looks. You are running for your life, and you're worried about how your look. And Aiden's voice is fucking killing me. Yeah, no, I'm... What? <laughs> You can make some videos that would inspire. Oh no, no, <laughs> don't! I'm sorry. I just this book is awful, um, and I'm not sorry for <laughs> Jack shit. I'm, like if she's really that worried about dying a virgin, yeah, why not rape her? Then you could be like, see, done. <laughs> now you can die happy. Okay, this stream is now officially demonetized. <laughs> so. <laughs> If anyone wants to donate money to STA <laughs> to help pay for her therapy after reading this book, um, there's a little donate button, and you should, like, click it and shit. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> so she gets back to the covenant, and her uncle is like, we could sell you into slavery. And I'm like, yeah, don't let her do anything, because she's a <laughs> fucking idiot. But everybody, but everybody is like, no, man. She, Aiden's literally just like, sorry, my, on the edge of my bed, like about to fall off and okay. cry. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck my life. Okay, but Aiden's like, no, she, she has like potential. She killed two demons, an un, like an untrained half blood, killed two demons. Well. <laughs> From the sounds of it, my name. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -mm. Okay. No. You okay? I'm not okay. This is so stupid. <laughs> She's a moron. And then, uh, okay. A theme throughout this book. Is that this bitch doesn't do what anybody fucking tells her to do. So Aiden ends up training her. And they're like, if you can fix your shit by the summer, we can let you back in and you can become a sentinel. And Aiden's like, yeah, I'm going to train you. And she's like, okay. So then Aiden's <laughs> like, do this this way. And she's like, mm, I don't fucking think so. So she does it her way. Like, get your fucking ass kicked. Then he's like, see? And then she's like, mm. and then he's like, okay, also do what I tell you. And she's like, mm. and I don't fucking think so. And so then she doesn't do <laughs> what he tells her to do. And he gets in trouble, and she gets in trouble. And it's like, and he's like, see? And she's like, yeah, but like, I'm not going to learn from anything that just happened. <clears throat> okay. I'm fucking done. Okay? Calm down. Fucking Breathe. Done. <laughs> She's a fucking idiot. Because just, just for perspective as well, right? Where I think I'm even jumping ahead a little bit. Yeah, I am. We are literally, what you were just describing, happens this far into the book. This far. We've still got this much to go. So, okay. I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> here's the thing. 
<laughs> Marcus is like her uncle. And at one point during their training session, Marcus pops up and is like, yo, sup, how's it going? And she's like, I can fucking fight you. And you're like, I'm like, at this point. Why do you have to fight everyone? I'm like, for whatever reason, you can't even block. Mm -hmm. And like, okay, I don't talk about this a lot. Because I did martial arts for years. And like, if after weeks you can't block something, you're a fucking retard. Yeah, especially considering she was training since she was seven. And And she left the covenant when she was, like, what, 14? Yeah, and somehow, like, she's forgotten everything. Like, that's not how that works, first of all. You, you fuck, you don't turn into an idiot. And Um, blocking is generally, like, isn't blocking one of the first things you learn? Yes. But they spend so weeks on friends. it because she's a fuck nut. So, okay. so she hasn't even learned, for whatever reason, by 14, anything offensive, which is stupid, by the way. Like, I really hate it when fucking female authors who are clearly fucking couch potatoes try to write martial arts systems like they know what the fuck they're talking about because they fucking don't. So her uncle walks in and she's like, I'm going to beat you up. And he's like, okay, <laughs> really? And she's like, yeah, I fucking heck you. She's not drunk, but like, if she was, this would make more sense. So Donkey, Aiden's like, Donkey Kong don't look for no one. <laughs> <laughs> it would make more sense if she was drunk. So, and Aiden's like, Alex, you don't want to do this. And she's like, I got this. And he's trying to tell her that her fucking uncle used to be a sentinel and could, like, kick the shit out of her. And But she cuts him off. And she's like, no, 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 I ain't. I'm good. She's like, I can't block, like, a punch, but I can beat him up. (laughs) I like that Marcus actually was just like, okay, let's do this. <laughs> right? Like, he's my favorite she character. Th- she think, he thinks she can kick my ass? Let her kick my ass, Aiden. Yeah, like, <laughs> pretty much an Aiden's just like, Lord help me. And she's like, <laughs> okay, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, yeah. She calls herself a fucking badass. She's like, I'm a badass. <laughs> you couldn't... You couldn't prick somebody's fucking finger. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you're a, a badass. Really? Uh, I think we all know a few people that like to think they're a badass, even when they're clearly not. Oh, I like that she, I'm sorry. What martial arts did you practice? Um, I did American Karate. I did uh, Kempo, uh, Brazilian and Japanese Jiu-Jitsu, and some Judo. But, you know. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. So... <laughs> Fucking kill me. Um, I'm so mad about this. Oh, and then there's a mean girl. Because of course there is. Yes, there always is. Um, I'm sorry, I was just reading chat. Oh. I, I actually kind of like Leah. I would like Leah more if she would actually, you know, kick Alex's ass. Oh, yeah, I like... Did you forget how to do... No, like, I... Okay, so, like I said, I don't talk about this a lot. Um, yeah, I know it's... I know it's called just regular... I know it's, like, just jujitsu, but it's people... BJJ and, you know, Japanese are, like, two very different styles, and people get... If you don't say which one, people get all, like, oh, which one? So, anyway. Um... So, like, I did it, how many fucking years? Um, I started when I was six. Last time I did, I was, like, 
it was, it was like 12 years, I think, straight that I did it. And I've like practiced on and off with people that I still know. Um, and I still, like, if you try to touch me and like, I don't know that you're about to touch me, I still instinctively block. Like, it's just a thing. So, I mean, the fact so that. So, no crash tackling you from behind. Yeah, no, like, I'll kick your fucking ass. Um, <laughs> but, like, so the fact that, like, she can't even block a punch after weeks of training, I'm just, like... She can throw an apple, though. <laughs> good for her. <sighs> and then one of my notes is, of course, Marcus hates you. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> And, okay, so I can believe, given my past relationships, that a 17-year-old and a 20-year-old would hook up. Yeah. But not, not this one. <laughs> she's a fucking moron. Like, she's just she really so is. stupid. She is you so know what, stupid. Though? I think it's in... Like, especially the one, I think the third book. Oh, I lied to you as well. Um, that, um, this, the sex stuff happens in book three, not book four. Um, isn't she but, dating Seth? Kind of. Um, but in Deity, um, they end up running away somewhere, right? And the way everyone interacts with each other, you're not go going to be as big a fan of Aiden as you are now because he, oh. What does he do? Oh, no, because, like, like they, they get together. Like, that's not really too spoilery. I already, see if I, looked, find I already looked it all up. I was like, do, do they end up fucking together? Because obviously, like, they can't, but do they? Just... Yeah, uh, it's, um, oh wait, maybe it's not this one. Uh, no, it would be this one. Um, I can't remember, but, like, he, he more or less openly flirts with her in front of Marcus, and, he, and like, does sexual innuendo stuff in front of her uncle. And it's just okay, like, so, like, in this book, he's super, we can't be together because you're, fu like, she'll literally be executed if they fuck, by the way. Um, yeah. And so he's very, like, careful, which is like, aw, but also, she's an idiot. You deserve better. Yeah. Sorry. Cookies. Um, um. What else? Oh, she calls him. Hotness incarnate at some point, <laughs> which I wrote down because I was like, that's fucking dumb. I don't even think that that thought has ever genuinely crossed my brain. No, that's not a phrase I've ever, 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 because it's stupid. <laughs> oh, and then Aiden at one point. So there's a gay named Luke, and then her best friend is Caleb, and Caleb and her have, like, this... She, like, sets it up with, like, this weird sexual tension that, like, she then throws up. It's fucking weird. Because Caleb's like, oh, you're hot. And she's like, eh. And he's like, huh, JK, you want to fuck? What? What? <laughs> anyway. So then Luke, a gay, walks by the training room and whistles at Aiden... And Aiden, and Aiden is like, gets he gets all pissy, and he's like, is this another boy of yours? You're always with the other one. Fucking kill me. Okay. <laughs> Jack Cochran just said, JK, wanna fuck is my new pickup line. <laughs> I wonder if that would work as a t shirt. 
it's, it's it's not it's not that bad for you. It's not you know. No, I don't care about your dead baby, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then oh my God, mercy! Nobody gives a fuck that you got raped. Or hey, if you get raped by a human, <laughs> and then you don't have to die virgin. Woohoo! Like we we all end up happy, right? Right. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Has the author ever met another actual teenager in his life? It was written by a woman, and you can tell. <laughs> Sorry. I, I say that while you and I are both writing books. <laughs> Men don't write tripe like this. They just don't. Do they have... I know, just, I'm too upset like, to give a shit. <laughs> like, I'm so deranged by, keep in mind that I took all of this in in one day, okay? Like, I'm so deranged that, like, that fucking pizza bikini sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Now I'm hungry. <laughs> right, like, I'm just, I'm that, like, off my rocker with this fucking book. I don't, I don't have any excuse. I'm just upset. Like, like it just got okay. done. Ten minutes before we started this stream, I finished this fucking book. I am, like, my brain. <laughs> it's okay. You survived it. You guys are just like watching me slowly descend into madness, just so you know. Um, okay. Oh, God. All right. So then Seth shows up, and Seth, how do you pronounce it? Apollyon? Apollyon? Apollyon. Apollyon. Seth is a Napoleon, and he has, of course, he has a fucking dumbass accent. So Seth is like, Hello, I am Seth. It is nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> that is not his accent. <laughs> it's better, though. It's definitely better. I don't know what sort of poster <laughs> fuck of an accent she used. That was definitely much better than his actual accent. But it sucks. Okay. Honestly, because for most of the time that Seth was in this book, Seth comes in at part two, I think. And I was listening to yeah. it all sped up, so I don't even have a good grasp <laughs> for what his accent actually was. Because, and by it was the way, supposed to be Greek, I know that. Yeah, I can't tell just because of like how I, I sped it all up, so I just don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> but I recommend that you at least listen to like an almost sex scene sped up because it's funny as shit. <laughs> like, it's hilarious sped up. But either way, they're, like, drawn to each other, and you're, like, fucking obviously she's special because, like, she's, like, Ellie oh, has tattoos, and then she's, like, everybody noticed his tattoos, right? And everybody's, like, mm, weird. And she's, like, oh, my God, I'm weird. And so then she goes to Aiden, and she's, like, I saw him. He saw his tattoos and he's like, Oh, Alex, I um I don't know what that means. I gotta go by. <laughs> okay. Um and I I like fucking Googled it because I was confused and I was reading everything like sped up. And apparently later Seth like tries to eat her and her fa her not father, but her stepfather Lucian, who's a pure blood, wants her like in his house and I feel like it's because you trust Lucian tries Seth to kill her, right? Doesn't try and eat her. Doesn't he like <laughs> try to eat her? But like, <laughs> he like, if he like absorbs her power, right? He like becomes a god killer. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they we're having the argument, and he's like, "What are you?" And she's like, "I don't know." And then they end up having an argument. He causes a storm, and then he sucks some of her energy out of her. And then they yeah, go and like, see no, like, I mean, like, later in the series, like, he literally, like, tries to kill her. Oh, um, that, yeah, the whole point was for him to become the god killer. Yeah. Um, and so, which I'm like, is he... her stepdad setting her up to be eaten? 
Well, she don't. She won't die. She just will be zombie Alex under Seth's control. So nothing different. And, it, and she just needs to nap a lot. Well, no, because she'll actually do what she's told. So she'll be a, a good character. Alex. Yeah. That would be a, that would be a fucking improvement. Her being a fucking zombie would be an improvement. Oh, it it kind of is. I am for that. Because she can... Well, Elixir, you will love that book. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm like totally. I'm sorry you guys are seeing me like this because I am just absolutely deranged right now. <laughs> Okay, so what happened? What the fuck happens next? I don't even know where we know. are. Can you help? Um, well, we're just talking about Seth coming in. Everyone is like, oh my god, Seth's so amazing, except for her, Aiden, and Caleb's girlfriend. Right. Um, and then... She oh her and Caleb do do a bumpy boo into um old lady. Oh right yeah so there's like this old oracle lady who's like you're going to kill somebody you love and she's like that can't happen my mom's already dead so in which case you're thinking mom's a demon and sh shut up Siri um <laughs> sorry <laughs> so you're thinking mom's a demon and she's like I don't know how it's gonna happen. And she's like, also, love and need are different. Make sure you know the difference. <laughs> Whatever. And I'm sure, I don't know, I feel like that might come in later when, um, like, she's got to choose. Because, of course, there's going to be a love triangle. Woohoo. Yeah. You know how much I love love <laughs> no. I'm so excited. That was funny when you messaged me today. She's like, um, you were... You're just like, oh, joy. I love triangle. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> well, because they kind of put it in, like. <sighs> well, oh, I just want to draw something in chat. It, it's it's the middle of the afternoon for me. It's not late night. Just saying. Yeah, no. So, Time like, turns. she doesn't have any, which is why she's not going crazy. <laughs> And I'm sitting here at 2 a.m. <laughs> losing my fucking mind. <laughs> yeah, you can see sunlight coming through my fucking windows. <laughs> Sorry. Just I'm a go. train <laughs> wreck right now. I'm, I'm just I'm not a happy camper. Okay. Oh. Right, because... You can't it, ride a mud... Go for you it. can't write a modern story without a love triangle with an obvious conclusion. See, that's just it. Yes, because you can. with the Mercy Thompson novels, like, you know that she's going to fuck Adam. And in this one, you know that she's going to end up with Aiden. Like, she explicitly sets it up that way. Mm. And so you're like, why are you wasting my fucking time? Subplot. That turns into actual plot. And then goes back to subplot. Fucking kill me. So, <laughs> what the fuck happens next? Like, I'm just so like, I just want to kind of want to like just go through my. Oh know, wait, sorry. um, and just answering Jack in chat. Yes, um, that is a mattress behind me. We um are taking the bed out of the spare room to move the baby into the spare room so we can put the newborn in the baby's room. So that means we have to get rid of the bed. So there is a mattress behind me. Okay, so one of the notes I have is, okay, so guy who doesn't even like her from three years ago is like, well, you have so much potential. Don't dead, babe, you great. What? She's an idiot. I hope you all <laughs> die. Like, that's a note. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I think it's in I think it's in Elixir because Elixir is an Aiden's point of view. 
um, book. And I'm pretty sure it's in this one. He, the t time where Alex first sees Aiden and has, gets the hots for him, he saw her as well and got the hots for her. So he's been in love with her this whole time. Okay, so at the time, <laughs> right? At the fucking time. Okay. She would have been 14 and he would have been 17. You mean to tell me that a 17-year-old boy looked at a 14-year-old girl and was like, yeah, I'm in... Yeah. No. Anyway. Yeah. Um. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. So then, at some point, they have like a moment, and she's like, "I remember you. I always knew you when you were around." And then my note says, "Ducking idiot," because I was so mad that I didn't type it out right. Stop talking. Kill me. Kill me. I hate this. This dialogue is awful. Why? And then he says, I remember you back to her. And I, okay, I literally said ew out loud. Like, when I heard it, I just went, ew. <laughs> You're going to wake the dog up if you keep doing that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I was like, ill, and so. Fuck's sake. Okay. Hotness incarnate. Is this another boy of yours? That's where we're at. <laughs> of course, there's a. F oh, yeah. So then apparently, like, they're doing all this martial arts, but it's only her back that's all bruised up. Oh, because she's practicing falling. That's. <laughs> That's not what's happening. Like they they leave falling like no, no, but I don't know then. I don't either. But I thought that's what it was. <laughs> but her back okay, but like even oh. her falling. If you're practicing it right, then you're not going to be that bruised up. Just saying. Like, okay, if she's this good and she was so good three years ago, why does she... Why, is, she's why does she good. suck? Doesn't make any sense. Anyway, so there's a back rub scene, of course. <laughs> there's a fucking course there is, even though it doesn't make any sense. He's like, I'm going to rub... Ointment on bruises. Maybe it's magical ointment. <laughs> they do magic. <laughs> they do magic. Maybe it's just a numbing cream so she can lie down on her back and sleep better. You don't put fucking ointment. <laughs> On bruises. <laughs> it's magic ointment. I don't give a fuck. Like, stab her or something. <laughs> give her a reason to, like, undress in front of him. I don't know. But, like, I don't put ointment on bruises. So you want her stabbed? It would have made more sense. That's all I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you amuse me. <laughs> Just oh I'm well, so you upset. you're restoring. Well, you have restored some faith in your generation. I'm glad that watching me go nuts <laughs> makes you happy. <laughs> and then, um, oh yeah, and then she gets like a puke green thingy. And uh, my note was, oh my god, you dumb bitch, no one looks good in puke green. Oh my god, she's a demon, great, I'm so happy, are you going to kill her, is that the plot? 
Oh, yeah, because mom. She finds oh, out mama. mom's a demon. And, like, apparently everybody knew. Yeah, because and- the demon she didn't kill. The demon she could have just pricked turned mommy into a demon. Here's the thing. Here's the fucking thing, okay? If this book, if she had died in this book, nothing would have changed. Because what ends up happening, so mom's a demon, so what ends up happening is she's like, it's my responsibility. I have to kill it myself. For whatever the fuck reason she thinks that. And so then she goes to do it. And, okay, another thing, okay, is that Aiden doesn't talk to her for a couple of days because they find out that they can turn halfies into demons, which I'm sure is important later. But then she's like, I want to go see him. I have this book. I'm going to go return it to him. I'm like, you fucking idiot. Okay. The lore of the gods has just blown up in everybody's fucking face, and you're like... Aiden hasn't called me in a couple of days. Maybe I should go bother him with a book. <laughs> this is why you shouldn't be dating an adult. It's because you're fucking stupid. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Okay. So she goes out to kill. And like I said, if she wasn't there, it wouldn't matter. Because her mom still would have been... <sighs> Remember, because she's a demon, so she... <sighs> instead of... <clears throat> when she dies. <laughs> Holy shit. You should stream at 2 a.m. more often. <laughs> Half this stream is just giggling because I can't take this. Okay, so mom's a demon and she's like, you know, I'm so mad at you. And then she finds out that she's an Apollyon. So she goes to Aiden's house and she's like, I am a thingy. And he's like, yeah, let's fuck. And she's like, okay. (laughs) So they almost do that. And then there's a knock and he's like, Oh, wait, you forgot something very important. He collects guitar picks, and he has every color except black. Yeah. That ends up being a plot point. (laughs) Does it really end up being a plot point? (gasps) Tell me a fucking... (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm sorry. (laughs) Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> no. I mean, it's not a major plot point, but it ends up being like a little minor short part of the story. Because she's like, book. here's a black guitar pick. And he's like, thanks, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> no, she gets it. Um, she spends ages. Like, okay, I'm just gonna spoil this for you in the for the next book. She spends fucking ages stressing over what to get Aiden for his birthday, and then she's and then she like spends a fortune buying him an Onyx guitar pick. Um, and then he ends his practices with her the day she's gonna give him the present, and she like gets all like upset and. She gives it to him anyway. And then he's like, I never loved you, Alex. And she's like, oh, my God, he never wanted me. And she gets all upset and then turns out he's drilled a little hole into it and he wears it as a necklace. And then she sees it and she's like, oh, my God, you've loved me all along. And then they bang. Well, no shit. (laughs) Well, I don't know if they bang immediately after she realizes that he's got it, but yeah. But, like, no shit he's loved you the yeah. Like, it's fucking obvious why you two can't fuck. But, like, yeah. and I hate that, where he's like... <sighs> Just, like... 
how do you know why they can't be together? Like, why is she so stupid? I don't understand. I think maybe maybe the author thinks it makes her endearing. I'm gonna be I so mean, happy when she. <laughs> I'm going to be so happy when she becomes a fucking zombie because that'll be an improvement. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. So, okay. End of the story, she just kills her mom. And like I said, because no matter what she does in this book, it doesn't change anything because mom would still be dead. If that makes sense. Like, she could be dead and the conflict in this world would still exist. No. Which makes her a shitty fucking main character. Like, if I could take the main character out... Well, and you're, plot... you're forgetting that she's the second Napoleon, though. But you still have a lot of plot to work with. Yes. Oh, so... I said the arc of the first book. She really has no impact on it. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Because the, the whole thing is just, we gotta kill mom, and oh my god, halfies can become... <laughs> But not poof, because I don't know how they poof, but they don't poof with titanium. No, they 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 do do the choky sound, not the poof sound. Yeah, okay. So they <clears throat> Yeah. Okay. Which sucks. Like, you know, if you're gonna make a half blood demon, at least be considerate about it. Make them go poof too. Make it yeah, make demons all poof and like other things. <clears throat> yeah. It's helpful. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah it's I'm just so was media oh, that's babe, right. the way you killed your mom was so hot. Let's do the snake and cave <laughs> dance. Oh my god, <laughs> the snake and cave dance. I fucking can't. <laughs> um another thing is her mom kills Leia's family. I don't give a shit. I don't care. I'm just like, I get it's important. That's a thing, a thing. I, well, because, like, isn't it, like, a thing because Leia's like, I was only grr because you were grr. Then they're like, aw, aw, aw. Or something. No, no, no. no. They, they go back to being grr and then they end up having that, like, Uh, like friend of me, like you know that we don't we clash a lot, but I respect you, boo. They end up having that type of relationship, um, and then because it's her Leah's dad and stepmother, they get killed, and then she's got an older sister who Alex also ends up being having a role in her sister getting k- killed. Spoiler, and then Leah's like. You realize that, like, you're the only consistent factor in every single one of my family members dying, right? <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's yeah. kind of true. And, <laughs> so. And then, oh, it's um, really weird, though. I, I, Sorry, I've just jumped all the way to, like, the end of the last book. And that I'm going to have stuff to say about. Okay. I really don't have anything else to add. Um, um, okay, well, I will say this. So, as You did right think now, Caleb was gay. Yeah, at first I thought Caleb was gay because he was like, ooh, girl, we're going to go get you some clothes and you are going to look fabulous. And then he was like, <laughs> also, I want to stick my peen in her vajiji. And you're like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad that Caleb isn't in love with her. I'm glad he's not part of this. I am too. Uh, have you met? Yeah, Seth comes in the first book. Not like comes like that, but he is a character. Oh, and he, there's a spin off Seth series. That actually sounds interesting. Yeah, I think it's called Titan. But I also feel like it's going to be fucking stupid because she's fucking stupid. You know what's really bad about this author? This is about the author, not the book. Although. I think we can all admit that the way she spells demon is fucked. Um, she's got another series called Lux, and it's about aliens. 
and there's actually a, it gets a little bit meta because like the, out in one of the books Lee's reading a book about hot aliens and it ends up referring to Lux the Lux series okay. so regardless the main love interest in the Lux series his name is Demon with the same spelling by the same author and it's what? like can you can you can you pick a different name? <laughs> like, one who calls their kid demon. <laughs> it, it, that series, honestly, if you think this one's bad, we'll fucking do that next. Why not? Um. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Okay. <laughs> so I will say, I like Seth better. And here's why. I prefer... Um, I prefer relationships where you actually see the characters get to know each other. And mm. with... I feel like Seth and... What the fuck? Alex, that's her name. Sorry have more of an arc than Aiden and Alex do, because Aiden and Alex are just like, let's bang, and it's forbidden. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. Whatever. Um, whereas she and Seth actually have like a more interesting dynamic, in my opinion. I get that he tries to eat her. Yeah. Sorry, I, I, I don't know if they think that it's my accent. No, it's pronounced demon, not daemon. So I was just clarifying in chat. Yeah. Um, so that's, yeah. I don't know, like, that's about it. I guess we'll do the second book soon. I need a break. We're going to do Iron Kiss next, which is the third book in the Mercy yeah. Thompson series. Um, I like Iron Kiss a lot. And I'm going to feel better about talking about that one because my head hurts. And yeah, I you're going to have to re-listen and pay, like that scene that I mentioned to you before, like it, it, it comes and it goes and there where was no is it ended with that it was you know when they're driving like where he's like drugged her and then they go to the garage and like he's about to like get all rape rape a doodled with her and then he's like wait no we'll go to the garage first mm -hmm. and yeah it's on the way to the garage mm. oh 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 okay okay yeah is there forbidden love because it's illegal to bang retards? Fuck, I wish. <laughs> I wish. All right, guys. Um, I need to be quiet. I'm going to get yelled at. So we're going to go. And thanks for we might watching have to me do... lose my mind. Yeah, we might, have to... we might have to do the Covenant streams earlier in your time zone yeah so you can yell. see we can do the mercy ones late at night because i like them so i'm not gonna yell yeah these i'm just <laughs> upset i'm upset so anyway <laughs> thank you guys all for watching um and i'll see you guys next time okay. bye guys bye.